In this short video, we're going to talk about subarachnoid hemorrhage, um, which is a common and frequently devastating intracranial bleed. Um, and frequently, what we see um, in subarachnoid hemorrhage is that due to maybe a ruptured aneurysm uh, around the circle of Willis, for example, we get this torrential bleeding into the base of the brain. Okay, so in this post-mortem specimen on the right-hand side, we can see a whole load of blood in the subarachnoid space at the base of the brain. And this blood has originated probably from a ruptured aneurysm um, in one of the branches of the circle of Willis. And these spaces in the subarachnoid space which get filled with blood are called the basal cisterns. Okay, so these are CSF-filled spaces at the base of the brain in all these irregular places at the base of the brain which get filled up with blood after a subarachnoid hemorrhage and this is very clearly visible on a ct scan so if we look at the scan um, what we can actually see this white area here is an acute collection of blood in the basal cisterns uh, of the cranial cavity all right, and we can see that it's it's bilateral. It's affecting both sides, and it's filling all of these little spaces at the base of the brain. So these are the basal cisterns that get filled with blood after a subarachnoid hemorrhage, um, and that's the way that you um, can diagnose a subarachnoid hemorrhage on CT by the presence of blood in the basal cisterns, which appear white. Um, in normality, because they're filled with CSF, they would appear black just like these little bits of the lateral ventricles appear, which have not been filled with blood. So that's all I want to say about the subarachnoid hemorrhage and its appearance on CT scans.